I'm joined by Adam Quang, who is an award-winning interdisciplinary artist whose work explores human nature by touching the heart and kindly provoking action from the viewer by inviting them to be part of the evolving art. He is the founder of the World Karma Project, whose mission is to make you and the people around you awesome. Awesome! <laughs> is that cheesy? Sorry. Um, he's here from Canada to take part in the South Banks Festival of Love through his art installation, 1000 Acts of Kindness, and through Love Bites, which is part of a series of talks which he will be doing today at 2 pm. Adam, welcome. Hello, Lisa. Welcome to London as well. This is your first time here. It is my first time. It's, uh, I've been getting a lot of wonderful reception and people are completely so kind. Oh. It's really, really nice. Well, I'm pleased to hear that. Um, so 1000 Acts of Kindness is your art installation, which, as I said, is currently at the South Bank as part of the London Festival, which, um, which began yesterday. Now, within your installation, you invite people to write down a proposed act of kindness, fold it up into an origami crane, and then the challenge is that they have to do the act within 48 hours of leaving that right. the venue. Mm -hmm. Okay, how did this idea come about, first of all? Well, I think the idea come about it was well, first, I'm an artist, so and I also do teach yoga. So I was lying on the floor after a yoga practice, <laughs> looking up in my studio, and I say, oh, I want to make something whimsical and inspiring for somebody to look at. And, well, to me, it's just naturally organic crane. <laughs> Brilliant. And so, yes, yeah, so the, it, I mean, it looks like a bird. Mm -hmm. It is a bird. It is a bird. But it's specifically a crane. What is the significance of, of it being a crane? The crane in Asia culture represents purity, happiness. It also brings luck, prosperity, and it has a lot of positive uh, aspect to it. And in culture, we view the crane as the creature of the gar. So they bring in messages from Buddha oh, wow. being enlightened. So people on a higher level plane. Mm. Uh, yeah, so that's why I thought of them. So you so you see like you know in Asian um, buildings and stuff like that, a lot of crane um, picture mm -hmm. depicted or you know you have crane uh, statue. So wow. yeah. So it have a lot of deep meaning behind yeah. it. We can talk like for weeks about it. Wow. <laughs> Well, it's like, and as I said yesterday, I experienced it, and yeah. and it 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 did give me a greater sense of hope. I did feel kind, yes. and and I actually didn't need to wait forty eight hours to do my deeds because I think I did it within like the first ten seconds of arriving there. <laughs> because my my act that I wrote on the on the crane was to smile yes. and to speak to strangers, and I did that literally as I walked in. So it's so I, natural, that wasn't it? Yeah, it was a really beautiful experience. Yeah. And guys at home, if you know, if you do want to do something today, I do advise you just to go there and experience it. I mean, I, I can rave all day. It, but it's, that's my experience. But if you go with your, you can go with kids as well. Because I was with a group. Yeah, I was with Magdalene, um, Dom, and Alison, and they really kind of like brought me in and um, and 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 allowed me to, to to share with them. And they were kids, and they were brilliant. Yeah, and sometimes that always people need it, like an introduction, somebody to like help, like just open the door, and then you see people just suddenly open every themselves up for, for mm. the people, and that like you see all day yesterday, and it was packed. I it don't know packed. you saw it was like from morning until we close, and after we finish at six, like there's still people coming, and we were like actually we we didn't leave until around seven. Oh wow! Yeah, it was like it was a madhouse all day <laughs> yesterday. I was like, running back and forth, <laughs> and it was really nice experience. And then you see everybody smiling. Yeah, everybody, you know, at first you saw. People come in, they didn't know what they, to do. And then, you know, I just invite them to sit at the table and then say, hey, sitting over there, you know, there are few chairs, so go share with people. Yeah, no, it's And really then lovely. other people helping other people. And that was, it, it became so natural, didn't it? No one cared that they didn't know each other. Everyone was smiling. Everyone just was willing to help each other. Exactly. So was that, or is that just part of your initial want, desire, outcome within this project? It is. Yeah, it is getting people basically connecting.